Hi, my name is Lucia. I started to learn coding from autumn 2022, and after a few months, the new tool ChatGPT emerged. As a new programmer, I found they can also code and better than me. Together with the surge of big tech layoffs, it raised me this question. Is learning coding still valuable in 2023, or is it outdated? If you have those doubts, you are not alone, I'm here with you. I will talk about my thoughts in this video. The brief answer from me is, it is still valuable, but we must adapt our learning method and the create expectations to keep pace with the rapidly evolving tech industry. First, let's talk about why we should still learn coding. Simply says, it is more valuable and easier to learn. Coding now can add value in many ways. Gone with the day that coding is a specific skill in certain industry and a few individuals. Work on nerd and geeks. Huh? Today is more like an integral skill in many industries and for many people. For example, I worked in the finance industry before. There are a lot of quant traders that need intensive coding to dive in the market trend. Even in my work, I need to search the database with SQL and write code to automate the invoice process. Another example is marketing field. The digital marketing is replacing traditional marketing, which means data science is much, much more valuable in the industry. And also like healthcare and traditional industry. We can say coding is everywhere in almost every industry. You don't need very high skill. Understand some coding can help broaden and advance your career. Even if you are a professional in the other field, learning some coding still opens opportunities in the intersection field. It's also a great skill for your personal project. The ability to write code is more like a secret superpower huh? that helps automate the tasks, analyze data, find problems, and create your personal project, apps, and website or creating projects for fun and experimentation. It can also be a fun and engaging hobby. Allows us to think logically, bring our ideas to life, and challenging ourselves in new and exciting ways. By learning coding, I get more scientific thinking practice and discover my passion for tech and science. It involves breaking down the big problems into small code and creating the creative solutions to solve them. It improves the critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Another reason why we can learn coding, coding is not only powerful, but easier and easier to learn. Even before the chat GPT, coding became easier and easier to learn with the technology advances in one aspect. There are countless online resources available for beginners, including the coding tutorials, video courses, and online communities, coding apps. You can always search for help on Google and Stack Overflow. Secondly, we have more and more user-friendly programming languages, for example, Python. This is something I really recommend for new coders. It makes coding more and more approachable for people with no experiences. Nowadays, with the help of ChatGPT and other AI tools such as Codex, who can help us to write code blocks, debugging, do code review, even create some study plans, it makes both learning and coding more quickly and efficiently and the learning process smoother and more manageable. It's also free to obtain. There are many online courses, apps, bootcamps, in a low cost or completely free. For example, you can use free coding apps such as FreeCodeCamp and SoloLearn. Those are the two I really recommend. And also you can search on YouTube for tutorial videos. You can also buy some low cost learning courses from like Udemy. I really recommend this one. This is the first course I had been taken, which is very personal, smooth, and interactive. There are many good courses among the internet, so choose the one the most suitable to you. And also you can use Coursera and EDX. You can find the famous Harvard CS50 on EDX. I also plan to take this later. So this is the good news. You can get the systematic coding lessons online and coding practice online for free. So, as we said, coding is so useful and powerful and easier to learn. But at the same time, you may notice this is not a rare skill for a few people, especially with the artificial intelligence. I would say this is not a good old days where programmers can make a ton of money and they can specialize on their skill. Let's talk about how can we twist our learning and the career expectation to keep with the tech and market trends. 
The first thing in my mind is the sole coders and the junior developers can be reduced soon. I had to admit that I don't really have a good job expectation for especially junior programmers. The tools such as ChatGPT and Codex, this is also another open AI tool. It's more like a ChatGPT for code. It shows the trend of reducing the demand of junior developers writing code blocks and simple codes. But instead, as a new learner, you can view coding more like one tool in your toolbox instead of the only tool. As we said, coding is no longer the rare and expensive skill to acquire. But I want to say it's still valuable, better to group up with the other skills. For example, you have good and deep understanding for industry, for the market trend, you have good sales skills, interpersonal and communication skills, you are a good team worker, and etc. And the human skill may be more rare and more important with the rise of technology. And the next thing about learning coding is we can focus more on big picture, more on why in learning coding. As the new coder, I also thanks for the fact that AI can write code blocks for me and debugging for me, which removes the tedious work and saves a ton of time. If you just started coding, it is not very necessarily to write lines of code very quick and debug very quick. Instead, contribute more time on learning frameworks, learn the good principles of programming. Focus more on why we want to use this tool, this framework, rather than how and what we should do. As we see the emerging of ChatGPT and other AI tools, it is more important to make good choices and asking good questions to them rather than how to do it and do it by ourselves. It is not bad. We can also have time to discover the market trend, the industry trend, and discover new tools to boost productivity. The next thing I want to mention is to make friends with AI. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of AI because I feel it's kind of dangerous. Huh? This is something growing too fast and powerful. I'm slightly worried about the regulations of AI and the rapid changes and unexpected changes it caused to the society. But at the same time, it is so efficient, we need to keep an eye on it. Learn about the trend, make it our productivity tool and remote redundant work. Or to say, get to the right side of the history. The GPT model is a very nice tool for us to learn coding. They can create some plans to learn a skill and also debug, teach us the programming skills and explain the code for us and etc. It's also a good tool for coding itself. It removes the necessity for us to remember the syntax, remember the structures and etc. So it's also efficient and proficient to save time for the experienced programmers. To make AI tool as our best friend, we can test various AI tools to boost productivity, even read some blog, watch some videos, and take some small courses to learn about it. The next thing is constant learning. It's essential to understand that constant learning is vital in the tax industry. Technology constantly evolves, and new programming language frameworks and tools are constantly emerging in this industry. So if you want to stay on the top of the tech game, you need to do constant learning to learn about new skills, new frameworks, and stay updated with the new market trends and tech trends and the changes to our industry. In conclusion, I think programming is a great skill for your career, for your industry, for your self-development. It opens many doors and have a lot of power to leverage. It becomes easier and easier to learn and may become a more common skill for other people. Just because it becomes a common skill, that means this is my expectation. The career for programmers, for developers may shrink and which might be less ludicrous than before. It is a good tool in your toolbox, but to have more comprehensive skill, especially the human skills, Thank you for listening. This is what I think about. If you have different opinions or ideas, please comment down below. Let's discuss and learn from each other. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe and let me know so I can make more of the similar content. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you again soon.